Hey, this is Dr. P, and I'm here with my friendly ultrasound machine. Ultrasound is a machine that uses sound waves, echo back and forth. You have a little transducer probe, and we can look inside the knee for abnormalities, other areas of the body for abnormalities. You can look for a baby. That's not my job, but more talking about the knee here. Um, and we use it to do our injections as well. So we can look for abnormalities in a joint in the body, and we can use it to to precisely guide where we put our injections of PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or bone marrow aspirate cells, uh, BMAP. This is an MRI scanner. Now that uses magnets instead of sound waves like the ultrasound, and it's able to use these magnets to come up with a three-dimensional computer-generated image of the knee of any body part, making anatomic slices through, and we can really see in great detail for cartilage tears, uh, fractures, um, all kinds of problems, tears of the ligaments, things like that. So looking at MRI studies and ultrasound studies that the cartilage thickness may increase after BMAC and PRP. And trust me, I think that's the greatest thing ever. I do think it does help with some of that, but I don't think you can definitively tell with an ultrasound or an MRI really how much cartilage has grown back. I know there's protocols for it. I know there's papers written on it. But the really definitive way to know would be to look in there with an arthroscope, a little fiber optic scope before, take pictures, and then do the injections, and then look in there afterward. And I've scoured and I have not, I don't think there's any large scale study that's ever looked at that. My, one question I get quite frequently is, can BMAC or PRP grow back new cartilage? And I know there's some evidence, but that's really the best way to know. So I know we can get excited about ultrasound findings, MRI findings, I'm all for it but we have to have a large scale study where we actually look before and after and now we have these little small needle arthroscopes that are very small. I mean, we can look in there before, do the injection, and then three months, six months, nine months, two years, whatever, look in there and really see if cartilage is growing back or not.